uh, these um, start again. These video blogs are quite a bit of fun uh, for me. I don't know if they're being fun for you, but they are for me. Uh, I talked about my friend from high school, Richard, high school and college, uh, and I got a Facebook comment back from him asking if I had my Blizzard buddies, which are um, what we would call his boots. He went out to way out west in Canada, Calgary, I guess, to go to school and came back and said, you just can't believe how cold it is. Came with this Michelin Man jacket and these boots that we called his Blizzard buddies, so it was fun to recall that memory. But one of the things that it brought to mind was the fact that you will very rarely know your own impact. Uh, unless you get some sort of feedback from the outside, inside, somewhere. Uh, because you're always with you. You go somewhere and <laughs> used to ask people, you know, who has always been with you when you've had a problem in your life? And a lot of people would say, my mom or my wife. It's like, uh, no, always. Yeah, my wife. No, always. Well, that would be you. And one of the things is, again, unless you have feedback, it's hard to tell your impact. When I was coming home from work uh, in college, Richard was recently married. He had a, an apartment that I was helping him renovate some of the time. I'm not very good at that, but we had fun doing Ceramolite, I think it's called. He'll correct me if it isn't. But I walked into this party after work, and it was already rolling. And uh, I guess just before I got there, Richard had said to everybody that nobody could tell a joke that he didn't know the punchline to. And Richard had this incredible memory on... Uh, trivial things. I, I think a lot of other things too. I've always admired him for his intelligence. But he set this challenge up and so people would start telling jokes. And there was, I don't know, 20 people in the house, something like that. They would start to tell a joke. Now if he didn't know the answer to the question, or if he didn't know the punchline to the joke, excuse me, I would stand close and pretend I was whispering, you know, to him that, to where people couldn't hear. But if he didn't know the punchline, I did. And, I mean, we just had a great time. It was so much fun. We were laughing like crazy because between the two of us, we could not get stumped. Right? So the next day, I go to see my mom at work. And I go in, and I, I'm coming home from university, and she says, oh, we were the life of the party last night, were we? I said, ah, what do you mean? She said, well, apparently, when you got to Bridges last night, it, did the party begin? I said, I, I, what do you mean? She said that Lucy, a friend that she worked with, was there. And the party was kind of clicking along, I guess, but when Richard set up this challenge and we got doing this joke thing, apparently the, the party took off. And I thought, wow, I was alive at the party. But, again, I didn't know it. Again, You know what I mean? I didn't know my impact because I thought that that's how things were going on. Over the years, I've looked around to see what's going on. I've looked around to see you know, what's different around me, to see if I can see what my impact is. Uh, sometimes it's a little disconcerting. Uh, most times it's okay with me. Talk to you soon. www.micpeakperformance.com